Hello friends from The Zone. We have Canelo Kovalev upon us, and we are fortunate enough to have my friend Sergio Moro, a former world champion, who will be here to help me explain the keys to victory to each fighter. Now, Ser Sergio, you're going to be Sergey Kovalev. Sergey Okay, Moro. as much as Sergio son is Sergey, you are Sergio today, explaining what Kovalev has to do in order to come out victorious against Canelo Alvarez. Now please, use me as your test dummy and tell me what does Kovalev have to do? Well, Kovalev is four inches taller, so he's going to have to use that to his advantage. He has a two and a half reach advantage. Of course, the power and the size is going to be on Kovalev's side, but he's going to have to use that smart. Stay, be, stay behind the jab, a smart jab. It doesn't always have to be a power jab. We know that Sergey Kovalev likes to use the power jab when he throws a right hand first and he throws a power hand behind. He wants to stay off the ropes. Kovalev, any time he gets near the ropes, he needs to either choose left or right, but everything behind a jab. And then if Canelo does get inside and be successful in getting inside, he should either tie him up, don't let him get started, or use his weight. The advantage is going to be to Kovalev. Put your weight on him, and it's up to the referee to actually cut that up and tell you not to do that. But these are advantages that Kovalev could have as the bigger man. You're right. And not only that, but he has a good good trainer behind him, Buddy McGirt, who was a fighter himself. At a, one great, point. a great trainer, a great, a great trainer, and it's a great add-on because I think Buddy McGirt is going to tell him not to use his power, to use uh, his speed, his advantages, and fight behind the jab. Fight smart. Get out of the middle rounds, which Kovalev always gets in trouble. Put some rounds in the bank. Buddy McGirt is an excellent add-on to Kovalev. Now, those are the keys to victory for Sergey Kovalev. Now, let's go to the other side and explain how Canelo will win this fight or what he has to do in order to win. Now, in my eyes, if I'm Canelo Alvarez, I'm using my head movement because oh, yeah. that's something that's a key factor for me as Canelo Alvarez. And I'm the smaller guy as well. So I have to make sure that I go in and out of the punches, never get hit because Sergey does hit hard. And the minute I can, I let the right hand go, go to the body. And if I'm in there, I let my punches go because that is one of, they say that those are one of Kovalev's weaknesses, body shots. So let's start early on, go in. Body shot, boom, body shot. And as the rounds go on, you distract him. You distract him with those body shots. Once he does get distracted with those body shots, guess what? You come right over the top with a big right hand or a big hook. So it's gonna be very important for Canelo Alvarez to move his punches, body shots, head shots. Keep in mind, Canelo does possess power with both hands. He has knocked out opponents with his right hand, with his left hand, body shots to, to, to the liver, just as he did against Rocky Fielding. That's gonna be a key factor for Canelo Alvarez. Head movement. Also, he needs to use his, move, his uh, footwork in, out. He needs to come in and out quickly, because Crusher does possess a lot of power himself. We need to understand that. And he's going to have to take a couple punches coming in. That's just the law of the game. And he's going to have to take it. And once he's in, he needs to take advantage of being in that short distance. Let his punches go. Use those uppercuts. He tro Canelo throws tremendous uppercuts. Right up the middle, right up the middle. Come over the top with the hook. Yeah, Come nervous. over the top I'm with the right nervous, hand. Jess. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. Well, I'm nervous myself because I don't know what's going to happen this Saturday night. Canelo against Kovalev. Canelo is destined for greatness. He wants to build an immense legacy to become a four-division world champion. We will find out if he's able to accomplish it against Sergey Kovalev.